Hey guys, Tyler here. Today for this video, I'm gonna talk about the Steelbook edition of The Return of Ultraman. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. What I find so fascinating about this show is that it's the fourth show in the Ultraman franchise because prior to this show, there were other shows in the franchise. For example, Ultra Q, which was entirely in black and white, Ultraman, which is everyone's familiar with, and of course, Ultra 7. And what's so interesting about this show is that it's the first production without Eiji Superior, to my knowledge. Because prior to like this show, all street shows, Ultra Q, Ultraman, as well as Ultra 7, were produced by him. However, back in 1970, he unfortunately passed away. This show, to me, has the same sort of plot like any other Ultraman show. Of course, there are like giant monsters attacking Tokyo, there's destruction, there's mayhem, there's like a lot of people screaming. And of course, it's up to Ultraman to save the day. However, for the previous uh, shows, there was like the Science Pace Patrol. However, for this show, you'll find a different organization that's called like the META or like the MET and so they're like a whole entire like different organization that actually fights against superstitious stuff including giant monsters. What's also interesting of course is the special ability for Ultraman for this show. Now they refer to this Ultraman as Ultraman Jack and also the other two Ultramans are also appears in the show too. For example there's Ultraman Jack like I mentioned before, there's the original Ultraman and of course, there's also Ultra 7. So for the first time ever, to my knowledge at least, it's the first time, of course, all three Ultraman appear in one show. So that's also a humongous treat for those who are a fan of Ultraman. Also what's so fascinating, of course, is how the special abilities for Ultraman are also pretty different. For the case of like the original Ultraman, he could turn big and of course attack people. For the case of like, you know, Ultra 7, he had to like to put on the glasses to become Ultraman. Now for this one, he just looks in the sun to become Ultraman. And of course, he has like this thing on his head that just cuts things into pieces. So for example, there's like a lot of monster fights that has like this whole entire thing, that metal kind of knife, and he just cuts the, the monster's heads off. So it's kind of brutal when you watch the show. Definitely not for the kids in the audience, but definitely for like, you know, the older kids and teenagers. But this show is pretty enjoyable, and let's check out the Blu-ray set from Mill Creek Entertainment. This Blu-ray set from Mill Creek Entertainment is just amazingly cheap. It's like less than $20 on Amazon.com, and of course, you can find copies at Walmart and various retailers. And of course, the Steelbook Edition is just fantastic. It has a very nice gloss to it. And of course, there's like a booklet that also comes with the steelbook. Now the booklet has like a lot of information talking about the history of the show as well as the episode guide. And of course, inside the steelbook are the discs. Now the discs are stacked upon each other. However, it's not a big worry because of course Blu-ray discs, they're actually more durable to damage compared to DVD. And of course, now the menu is not that fancy. You just put it in the disc, and the menu is very simplistic. Now for audio options for the disc, there's only Japanese with English subtitles. There is no English dub. And matter of fact, to my knowledge, there was no English dub that was official from Super Ray Production that was produced for this show. Of course, there was like English dub for like Ultraman, even Ultra Q, and also two English dub for Ultra 7 by TBS as well as like uh, that other company in Hawaii. And so to my knowledge there is like no dub that was actually produced for the return of Ultraman. But anyway, what do you guys think about this set? Tell me in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's
It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.